husband uh, went for a routine injection for pain in the knee, and he had a very dramatic infection that developed from the injection, and he became critically ill. We wanted to get him home as quickly as we could because the infectious disease doctors said, if there's any way you can get out of this hospital into private care in your home, he will get better, better and quicker. So that's when we became friends with you all. Yeah, I, the, I had an operation on my thigh and right next to my knee. You know, I couldn't walk. So I was in the hospital 21 days 21. and two operations. Well, I've never been incapacitated like that in my life. And it was just a tremendous help. I haven't driven a car for a year and they drive me everywhere and help me get dressed and they help me do everything. And we attribute that care to why right. he's getting so strong. It, it was a difference in being able to cope and keep him in his home and his own environment and comfortable. And that's what we are so grateful for. And then we were checked every, every week at the doctor's office. So the caregivers got us there, brought us home, helped us in and out of the car. We couldn't have made it without the help. We could not. I was in a wheelchair then, too. It, it was, it's been an ordeal, but it's been uh, an experience. A journey. Absolutely. And, and I'll tell you, the girls with y'all are just phenomenal. Here, Christine has been with us for six Since to eight January, months. Yeah. And I may steal her from you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's a, she's a professional driver, <laughs> and everything children. she does oh, is first class all the way. Yeah. I mean, right now, if I want to go out to dinner or lunch, you know, my caregiver, Christina, drives me everywhere. He helps me out of the car. At one time, he helped me get out my walker or my, you know, cane or whatever it is, and he helped me go to the restaurant. But not all restaurants have ramps to get up and down. You've got to do steps. And he had a and a reaction to a drug in January and had to be readmitted to the hospital for severe blood loss. And through going to the ER, going by ambulance back to the hospital, reliving all of that. And my that, caregivers were with me all the way. They were with us the whole time. And one of the girls, when we had to leave in an emergency to the hospital, she said, Jojo, I will pack his clothes and his dog kit. You knew where everything was. What he needs, and I will do that for you. I and she didn't spend that. the night at the hospital. No, the no, I The caregivers did. I had 24 7. Oh. He's part of our family now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, Christine, uh, you've been with um, JoJo and Chizzy for quite a while. Uh, eight oh, months, I think. Yeah. Eight months? Less yeah. than January. Yeah. Yeah. Mid-January, yes. It looks like they've adopted you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's no doubt about it. I love working with um, clients, with my patients. I love it. Um, I've done it for 13 years plus, and um, I enjoy every, every minute of it. And she's a superstar. She's my brains. <laughs> she remembers everything. It's been a journey that I could not have made without it. It's been that's an sure. easy journey. Yes. Yeah. With y'all and with them, let me tell you. That's that's well, that's and, everything. And you, you know, Helen came over and took our long-term care out of our house. It was wonderful. You just said, "Don't worry about this part. I can do this." That's right. That was huge. I love them. No. <laughs> they are, I love we love her so too. Much, um, they, they're, they mean so much to me. And Providing the care for them and what they need is, is I mean, it fills my heart.